What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Shop Mini RC. I'm Ken, and if you're a returning viewer that hasn't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's just a click for you, but it means the world to me. Today, we've got something awesome to check out. We have a new FCX24 from FMS. Let's just dive into this thing. So we've seen this guy, the Power Wagon, the Butcher, and we've seen this guy, the Smasher, and now they're spoiling a Chevy Blazer K5. Three different colors. You can change the roof. Let, oh my God, this is blowing my mind. This thing is awesome. Here's, we're gonna run some videos while we talk. Um, they have three different videos already out. Well, four, I guess. I mean, they're, they're, they're blowing it up. It's, they're killing, killing the media when it comes to just videos and all the cool stuff, their website. Leave it to FMS to make an amazing looking body, guys. This, I'm not sure, I think this thing is Lexan, so that's awesome because it looks so good. Plus the topper, it might not be, I'm not 100% sure yet, we don't have one in hands, but we will be getting one, um, and we'll probably be getting more than one. These are just too cool. I love that you can pull the topper off. Check that out. You can pull the topper off, make it a truck, roll cage. Awesome. Here, I'm gonna shut up for a minute. Let's just watch some of this video. So this guy is on the FCX24 platform, which already has a ton of aftermarket support, both for the crawler version and the monster truck version. There's two versions that are out. That's the Butcher and the Smasher. The, they're exactly the same with the exception of some electronic changes over time. This new truck has the newest electronics. The only other difference with the Smasher and the uh, Power Wagon is that the Power Wagon is more of a crawler. It's got locked plastic diffs, so your axles spin at the same time. Whereas the Smasher has metal open diffs, so it can handle cornering better, but it's not nearly as good 
as at crawling just because it's an open diff. You don't want an open diff while crawling. They also have different tires and then obviously different bodies, but everything else, two-speed transmission, the 130 motor, the metal portal axles, all that stuff, it's all the same. And this K10 brings all that awesome stuff over from those two platforms with, you know, all the updated features. It's got a servo saver on it. And like I said, the new electronics um, and just an amazing body, guys. This thing looks so good. It's got a light setup, so it's got high beams and low beams. I don't think there's any tail lights though. Um, even the tires are true to scale. And this is officially licensed, which is awesome because you don't have to worry about it getting pulled off a website or you know, somebody cease and desisting these guys from making it. They went out and they got the official license, so they're doing it right. FMS is killing it lately. Remember, FMS has only been doing you know, trucks and cars, basically non-airplane, non-helicopter stuff for maybe two years now. And so, yeah, they're, they're killing the mini game for sure. Even their 10 scale stuff looks amazing. Um, and the price points are awesome. This guy's gonna be $159.99. Can't be beat. And especially with the removable top, they're even gonna have some accessories for it. Um, looks like they have a different bumper as well as a roof rack that we'll be able to throw on there. Actually, it's also got two different front grills. Um, so that's awesome. So bumper, two different front grills to choose from, and then the roof rack. Um, but these are all gonna be accessories, they don't come with it. But the two different tops, the roll cage and the topper, those are how it comes, so you can switch which, whichever way you wanna run it there, which is awesome. I love the blazer look, I love the all blacked out one. That's gonna be the one we're gonna try to get first. Um, but they all three look good, they're super retro, on point, like I said, they're killing it. guys have 54.8 millimeter tires on them and like I said they're super scale tires so that's awesome the wheels look great they're like chrome plated wheels there's chrome plated parts all over this thing which is awesome and again it's fully ready to run it's it's all you gotta do is add your four triple A's for your transmitter. It comes with the, the battery. It's gonna be the same battery that came with the Smasher and the Power Wagon. So if you've already got a Smasher Power Wagon, you can easily just swap batteries around. You have tons of extra batteries. And like I said, the aftermarket support for this thing is already there. So you can just totally kit it out, put all aluminum on there, do whatever. And again, I am super excited for this body. I hope it's Lexan because it'll be lightweight, which is awesome. But my guess is it's probably a hard body. It uses the same mounting system as the Smasher and the uh, the Butcher. So it's that clip system, which a lot of people complained about that early on. But I think it really just has to do with knowing how to do it. The Butcher is a little bit harder to put on than the Smasher. The Smasher is super easy to pop it off. You just push the clips and the body comes right off. The Smasher, you got to make sure it's real tight fitting. You got to make sure there's no wires in the way or anything like that. So I know a lot of people had issues when the Butcher came out with that just because it is so tight fitting. But once you get the wires out of the way and you know how to finesse it, it goes on easy. So this truck is going to be a lot like the Smasher as far as clipping the body on and off. Um, so that's why I'm thinking it's probably going to be a hard body, but how amazing would a Lexan body be with those clips? That would be pretty sweet. This thing should be coming out really soon. If it's not already out, uh, we, we were able to find some of the information on the website. Uh, I'll show you the little, what we found here. Just search for it on the FMS website and it comes up as a blog post. So we searched FCX24 and if you go to the very bottom of the search, it says there's a blog for the FCX K5. We clicked that. Their production value on these videos is also fantastic. It's got all the different videos. Uh, we're just gonna let some of that stuff run here. You can check it out. Also, we'll put a link to all this stuff 
um, down in the description below. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, do all those things you do at the end of videos you like. That way you know when the new K5 Blazer deep dive video is posted, you don't miss anything. We're just, we're just waiting on the new truck. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed all those awesome videos and clips. Uh, the pictures, is just so much cool stuff to look at. And uh, yeah, make sure you get one. Uh, we will definitely update this video once we have our links to uh, our affiliate links. That way, if you want to support the channel, you can use our affiliate links or you can just go search for it yourself. We try to put them there more for convenience than anything, honestly. And um, yeah, get out there and drive one of these smashy, crashing, bash it, but don't break any expensive parts. Oh, and we got swag. Make sure you check it out below. It's in the YouTube banner. You can uh, click on those. It'll take you straight over to our little store and you can pick up some swag. We might have a contest coming that includes wearing your swag while running your mini and taking a picture and sending it in. Maybe, I don't know, maybe get some swag just because you want to support the channel. I don't make much money on it, but it's really about just showing people about the channel and uh, we appreciate it. We love all of our subscribers and uh, you guys are all awesome. And if you made it this far into the video, we always like to do this little thing where we have you put something down in the comments so that we know you watched the whole video. We're gonna do a long one this time. Why don't you put FMS is killing it with the K5 Blazer. I know it's long, it's probably the longest one we've done. Put it down in the comments below, that way we know you watched the whole video. All right guys, we're out of here.